Hey everyone, welcome to Making Sense. If you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. I really appreciate seeing you here. And if this is your first time checking out my channel, welcome aboard. If you do me a huge favor, click the subscribe button down below, like, comment, and or share this video. That would be greatly appreciated. Today, we're going to do something a little bit different. I actually got a chance to get out of this area and go check some opinions from a few different people in regards to two, even three different fragrances. You'll want to see this one. Stay tuned. So in my little test and or my comparison with the different people I had to put their nose on these fragrances, I used three different fragrances. The first one was this one right here by Fragrance One, Date for Men. So this was the first one that I ended up bringing with me and I numbered each one that the people were going to be checking out, number one, two, and three. Number two on the list is this one right here, Intimus by Navitus Parfums. Hopefully that came in clear. And last but not least, the third one, which I only have a vial of or a little sample. I don't have a full bottle of this, or I would have used it, is this one right here. I'm going to try to get out of the way of the camera. Hopefully it focuses. If it doesn't, I'm going to pull it away. It's Ultra Mal by Jean-Paul Gaultier. So in the end, I was able to take Office, which is number one on the list, Navitus Intimus, that's number two on the list, and number three was Ultra Mal by Jean-Paul Gaultier. I grabbed a bunch of different people, and what I did was I asked them to do me a favor because I knew the loud music wasn't going to be able to be able to play over the loudspeaker uh, and or on YouTube afterwards because of copyrights and things like that. So I asked them to give a nice easy symbol. If they like the fragrance a lot, thumbs up. If it's just okay, sideways thumb. And if it's one that they really just didn't like, I asked them to give a thumbs down. It's very easy, very clear, very simple to judge. And what we're going to do is I'm going to take those, I'm going to put a little tally together and hopefully be able to put down here on the bottom of the screen, one, two, and three, and we'll document how many people gave the thumbs up to each one on a little tally sheet at the end. And after they go through their thumbs up sideways or down, or if they're all thumbs up, whatever it is out of the three, we're going to find out who got the most thumbs up. And in the end, we're also going to find out who was the ultimate winner, which fragrance they chose that they said that they liked the most. Because after I asked the thumbs up sideways and down, if they all got thumbs up for any reason or there was more than one, I asked them which one they preferred the most out of the three, and they let me know as well. And we'll tally those by giving them a one, two, three down here. And right beside their number, if the person chose that fragrance, that's the one that will get a bump up right there. Again, in the end, I'm going to keep a tally of thumbs up sideways and down as well, and we'll get a picture up there as well. All right, let's do this. As you can see here, She's going to smell the first fragrance, which is Date for Men. And we're doing that thumbs up sideways or down. Oh, we got a thumbs up right here. And we're going to move on to the second fragrance. This is what we do with each of these people. Uh, we got a thumbs up on the second fragrance as well. And we just want to get their overall opinion and find out which one of the three they prefer the most. And number three, which we got here. Number three is a thumbs up as well. And her overall choice for her favorite was number one, which is Date for Men. Now that whole theme is going to go on here. We're going to have him grab... One, two, and three. See what his opinions are. See which ones he chooses as his personal favorites. As he's testing number one. Let's see what he does. Thumbs up. All right, so we're on the right path. Depending on what his own choice is. We have a few of these in a row. Uh, number two. Ooh. So Intimus by Navitus is getting a sideways thumb for an okay. And we're in the third fragrance. We had a little photo bomber in the background there. And the third one, Ultra Mall, got a sideways thumbs as well number one is the winner obvious for him now on this one once again we have oh a thumbs up that facial response shows he really enjoyed that fragrance which is pretty cool number two well, it's not so great not his favorite one that is intimus by Navitus. the third one was ultra mal by jean paul gautier and this might sound a little redundant when I keep repeating these, but I want to make sure you get them all. And we're asking now what his favorite choice is out of one, two, or three. His final choice is number one. All right, so we're going to do another one here where we have the three different fragrances. Choose one, two, or three, and let us know which one's going to be their favorite in the end. 
So let's see if we get a thumbs up sideways or down for these fragrances. Number one is Date for Men. We got a thumbs up there. Now we're moving to Navitus Perfumes, Intimus. And we got another thumbs up. So thumbs up for both the fragrances so far, one and two. And last but not least, Ultramal by Jean-Paul Gaultier. And we didn't get a response there. She actually just chose her uh, favorite, which was number two, so Intimus. Oh, and the third one right there gets that thumbs up. Uh, her third, her favorite overall was number two, so we're going to go with that. Now, this gentleman gets a chance to take a look at these fragrances. Has never put his nose to any of the three of them as well. None of these people had ever smelled these fragrances. They were pretty surprised. And number one gets the thumbs up. That's Date for Men. Moving on to number two. Intimus by Navitus. Another thumbs up. Two for two. So far, I mean, ultimately, talking with everyone, most of, most of their opinions were these were really nice fragrances. They really liked the smell of them. And number three. He gets another thumbs up. Let's find out which one of the three fragrances he chooses as his personal favorite. Oh, number three. All right, so we have another vote for Ultramal. This is actually a friend of mine that was walking through, and I got a chance to grab him. I was like, hey, I want to borrow your nose for a minute. We have thumbs up for number one. Bill, hey, thanks for stopping and doing this for me, as well as everyone else here from Wamaset that jumped on board. You know, it was a lot of fun having you smell these really quickly and getting your opinion, your first takes on these fragrances for my YouTube viewers. Number two, thumbs up. So, so far, one and two are both thumbs up for Bill. And we're heading to number three. The third one is a thumbs up as well. Now we're going to ask the question, out of the three, which one is your personal favorite? And it's number three, Ultramel. Now this might be the last one of these videos we have right here. I did have a couple more that I got to do, but there was people that work for different companies and I was unable to. Uh, so her first take on Date for Men, Sideways Thumb, so an okay. Let's see what she says about Intimus by Navitus. Thumbs up for Intimus. And last but not least, Ultramel. But there was a couple of gentlemen who had names on their jackets and such that I couldn't put in the video, so I couldn't use their, their takes. And number three is also a thumbs up. So between two and three, the question of the day is, which one's your favorite? Number three. Not all about you, but I had a lot of fun doing that. I hope that the thumbs up sideways and down worked well for you, that watching the different people's reactions, it was the first time they had ever smelled these fragrances. Uh, it's actually kind of cool because I was able to talk to each and every one of them afterwards and none of them had ever smelled any of the three fragrances. So it was really a cool blind shot into their nose and to see which ones they really enjoyed. Now, although I had the opinions of these really nice people that were willing to take a little bit of their time to give me an insight into what they thought about these fragrances, I was wondering if there was anyone else I could talk to or get some opinions of to see their take on these. And it's funny, when I started talking about these three fragrances and how people refer to the, you know, the similarities or comparisons or that they're in the same wheelhouse, even at times, someone would bring up another fragrance that was just like this or more similar to them. I mean, to give you a good example, hey, hey, can you do me a favor? Come here for just a minute. Thanks. What's up, y'all? It's Matt here, aka Georgia Gent. And today, guys, I'm going to be part of this collab. Thank you for making sense. Appreciate you for inviting me in here to do this to uh, compare Date for Men with. Uh, John Paul Gautier Lamal. I know it's supposed to be like a Ultra Mall, but this is what I have. Um, I also have a little bit of insight on something else it smells like, but I'm gonna put one at least one of my hands and get back to you. All right, so I had to set the mood. You know, it is date, you know, at the end of the day. Uh, so on my left hand ear, I have date. On my right, I have Lamal. Um, what's crazy is I didn't expect for them to be this similar. They're not similar in terms of the sweetness. They're not much that's there, but there seems to be a DNA that's in the Lamal. That's also in the uh, in the date. It's not the same scent by any means, but there's something that is similar. Um, but what I was to say was that there is a fragrance that is very similar in the opening, and that is Invictus Legend. The similarities in the opening, not the dry down, in the opening is spot on. Like. I sprayed it on a tester and my skin, um, and in the opening, I was almost upset at how close it was. In the dry downs where it changes, so it's not quite as much as Invictus, 
Um, from my understanding, in the opening is Invictus. Dry Down is going to be more uh, the Ultra Mall. But yeah, thanks. Now, with that being said, um, I did forget about three different people I had that wanted to say something else. Uh, hey, come here. What's going on, YouTube? Scott, 504 Man Frankers Reviews. Michael Densmore over at Making Sense. Go check out his channel. Send me a request. Ask me to do a little quick uh, take on Navitus Parfums Intimus. He wanted me to compare it with Fragrance One Jeremy Fragrance's Date for Men. I'm going to go ahead and spray Date for Men on my left hand. I'm going to go ahead and spray Intimus on my right hand. All right, in the beginning, um, Date for Men has a very uh, tart fruitiness to it, wherein Intimus, it's fruity, but to me, it's a little rounded. It's not as tart. I don't really find them too similar. But I like the Intimus better than the Date for Men. I, I just, I don't like the tartness in the Date for Men. I like that, that, that those rounded edges in Intimus. So yeah, Mike, as far as them smelling like each other, I don't really get it. Um, they're on the same wavelength, if you can get that, but I believe that they're two totally different fragrances. So I hope that helps you out. Hey, y'all, like I always say, keep smelling good, and I'll see you when I see you. Peace. Hey, Scott, thanks again. I appreciate that very much. Now, we've had some opinions of some great people, some people you maybe already saw around the fragrance community. And, you know, we've had a couple guys' opinions. It was cool. And we had Matt, who had a choice of one fragrance. And, you know, after the first comparison between Date and uh, Lamal, he had mentioned that, you know, that Paco Rabanne fragrance was even closer in his opinion. And then, luckily enough, Scott was able to, you know, use both of those decants to see which one he thought was a little bit better or closer. And appreciate that, too, Scott. That was awesome of you. Now, one thing we don't have yet verbally on this video is... A woman's perspective you know things like that if someone would just give me their idea of how much they do or don't like this one you know especially if they're in the fragrance community hey everybody my name is Chris my girlfriend Kelly hey so my channel is casual fragrances I'd like to thank uh, Mike from making sense to maybe a collaboration video so this fragrance here is date for men it opens up very fresh and does have some uh, has more of a bubblegum Invictus vibe and a uh, Monte Co Perfumo vibe, you're in the or John Paul Gaultier vibe, you're in a fragrance like that, you're definitely going to like this fragrance here. Definitely check out Date for Men, and my girlfriend Kelly likes it. Now we're going to talk about a fragrance my uh, girlfriend likes. It's Intimus by Navis Parfums. Yeah, so um, this is something that we're looking to buy. We don't have it yet. Well, we tried it out a few times at Stephen's house. Yes, and I could just inhale uh, Intimus all day long. Um, it's got toasted sugar, vanilla, bergamot, lemon, apple, uh, pink pepper, amber, and patchouli and musk. A lot of notes, but she enjoys this one a lot. It's her favorite from the line. They're all good fragrances, but this is her favorite. Very sweet smelling. Um, I love sweet fragrances, so it's right up my alley. It's my favorite from his line. The whole line's great, but that's my number one. I can't wait to have it yeah. uh, and wear it all the time. Definitely. So I have to thank uh, Making Sense, his fragrance channel, for letting me be in collaboration. Definitely subscribe to the channel. Keep up the great work. He's got an amazing fragrance collection. i got to grow my fragrance collection like him. Until next time, guys. Bye. Bye. Now, yeah, thank you again, Chris and Kelly. That was awesome. Now, here are the results for the good, okay, nope, indoor favorites of each of the three fragrances. As you can see, Date's result here and Intimus by Navitus. Uh, you can see that little plus two was because the review was, in my opinion, uh, one straight out said that Intimus was more favorable, and the other kind of noted at it, but didn't say it hardcore. This is Ultra Male, or Ultra Mal, depending on how you say it. And ultimately, in the end, here's the results of all the people that made their choices. They were able to make a decision, and it looks like Date for Men came out on top. And that's a wrap. It was a lot of fun putting this video together. You know, it was really great working with Matt, Scott, Chris, and Kelly. Uh, to put those collaborations together along with all of my friends and family over at Wamas and Lanes in Tewksbury, Massachusetts. I'm going to make sure I leave a link down below to each of these people's uh, YouTube pages uh, or to Wamas and Lanes directly so you guys can get a chance to check out their channels. Go subscribe. 
You know, they do a great job between uh, Georgia Gent 504 Minute Reviews and Casual Fragrances. You're going to see some great content and some great people. You know, there was other collaborators that were going to jump on board with me. And, I, you know, it would have been awesome if we got them in there. Some of them just didn't have the fragrances available. And a couple of them were sick and things like that came up. But I really appreciate all the great communication and the fact that these guys sent these to me. Uh, ultimately, if you get a chance, definitely go click that subscribe button on their channels. Click on Wamas at Lanes if you're local in Massachusetts or ever coming around the area. Head on over there, check them out. They're really great people. The owners, the family that run, just, just awesome people all around. Uh, so for me, I didn't put this in the mix yet. I didn't add this to the, the final status, but we're kind of in a deadlock between Ultra Male and Date for Men. Uh, for me, Date for Men beats Ultra Male. Um, the price point is the only real question mark that really comes into play. So if that's going to be the topple point, uh, at the same time, through this video, if you watched up to this point, you've noticed from what I got, and I didn't hear hard, hard yes or hard no on a definite decision, but I think Chris and Kelly might have been leaning a little bit more towards Intimus right here. And if that's the case, we would have been in a stalemate anyways, and it would have been three across the board. So all of these fragrances are subject to your own opinion. Uh, if you like them, if you hate them. The cool part was when I talked to the people that really weren't into the fragrance game, uh, my friends were at Wamaset, there was like another five or six different people that tried these and I got their opinions. Uh, there was one guy who had a label on his shirt I couldn't put in the video because it was a work label. And there was a couple other different items as well. And the overall consensus was they could see how these could all be, you know, in the same wheelhouse. But none of them, nobody that put these three fragrances to their nose, thought that they smelled exactly the same or were the same. Now, it was tricky. I had three sprayed pieces of sheets all separate in those bags that were freshly sprayed. I let them dry down when I was there. And I got a chance to open them up, get a nice whiff out of it, reseal the bag again, and so on and so forth. When that happened, each person gave me their insight afterwards. I had a better chance to talk. The music was way too loud, and I didn't want to play with the copyright rules uh, with YouTube and everything. But in the end, not one of them said in their opinion that any of them smell like the other one. So that was a big part of FragCom. A lot of people keep saying one smells like the other. To me, they're absolutely all in the same wheelhouse, and I used the reference before. The same way as a blue fragrance like YEDP or a blue de Chanel Sauvage, with more than a Broxen note though. Without the Broxen note, that's right there with me with all those blue fragrances. Mass appealing, easy to wear. Um, you know, these are in the same wheelhouse with each other as well. Jean-Paul Gaultier, La Mal, the original one, which Ultra Male has basically taken the place of that fragrance in the fragrance community. That was a huge club banger. Big party, you know, go on the town club night. And these two fragrances might be the ones that are trying to, you know, within these houses that are trying to take the, the same position or same place. But honestly, wear them for whatever the heck you want to wear them for. Now, a little side note. This has nothing to do with these fragrances, but I want to throw it in there. The person that was doing the video for me was Tucker. He's a really nice kid, good person that works with me once in a while. Also a great member over at Wamas and Lanes. The night that we did the quick video, I had given him a vial, I think it was a 10 milliliter of a fragrance. And I was wearing one of these two, I don't, I don't remember which one exactly. And he came up to me afterwards when he sprayed this on himself. And I was like, what the heck, you smell great, man. Didn't even remember the fact that I gave him that fragrance earlier in the night and a little bit later on again about an hour later I got a whiff of it and it was Cremo Blue Cedar in Cypress. Now last night when I was starting to edit this and a little bit like that I worked with them again and he was wearing that fragrance again and honestly that smelled amazing. Um, so if you haven't had a chance check that one out that's a, a cheapy or a really low price fragrance that I'm throwing in the end of this video just for the heck of it but that's Blue Cedar in Cypress by Cremo doesn't have a ton of lasting power, but man, each time I had a chance to, to smell that or a quick walk by, that kind of impressed me. So, hey, why not throw a little tidbit into our cheapie at the end of this video? Again, thanks so much for watching this. If you haven't already done it, click the subscribe button down below, like, comment, and or share this video. I greatly appreciate it. I love your comments. Let me know if you want to see any other reviews, any other fragrances I should check out, uh, or if there's anything I should get my nose on. That'd be amazing too. I love trying new fragrances. I'm a frag head at heart. And remember, if you're making the world a better place, just one spray at a time, then to me, you're just making sense. Until next time.